The Rockies, a bogus expansion team, mind you, are averaging four more runs per game than anyone in the league because of their clean air. Our theory is, if Philadelphia would clean up its smoggy air, the ball would slice through the atmosphere with a greater velocity. <laughs> Therefore, the Phillies would score more runs. And win every home game. The end. Boy Meets World is one of my all-time favorite shows. And young Corey and Sean make a great point. Does Denver have an unfair advantage in sports? This is especially relevant as the Denver Nuggets find themselves in the NBA Finals. Denver is called Mile High City for a reason, after all. But how does the altitude translate into wins for the Nuggets? Well, already the Nuggets are 9-0 in the playoffs at home this year, and they had the second best home record this season. In fact, the Nuggets are the second best team at home since 2003, behind only the San Antonio Spurs over that same period of time. But can all of this home success really be attributed to the altitude? Well, let's take a look at another sport and see how it's affected. Strolling a few blocks away to Coors Field at 2001 Blake Street for those who watched my zip code video, the Rockies are in the top half of home teams by wins since 2007, which doesn't sound too impressive until you consider that they are second to last in wins as an away team during the same period of time, dropping them from 14th all the way to 29th. Just playing at Coors Field adds an additional 19.7 feet per hit compared to the average MLB stadium, nearly doubling the next closest in Chase Field in Phoenix, which could mean the difference between an out on the warning track and a home run over the wall. But for the Nuggets opponents, the effects of altitude are more physiological. The amount of oxygen in the air remains at a constant 20.9%. But as you increase in elevation, the lower pressure environment of the air means that there is effectively less oxygen to breathe. At one mile in altitude, oxygen levels effectively drop from that 20.9% to around 17.3%. Your body then responds by trying to breathe more to keep up with the decrease of the oxygen supply. But despite your lungs' best efforts, less oxygen makes it to your blood and less oxygen pumping into your muscle tissues means limiting your athletic performance. In some cases, the increase in altitude results in acute altitude sickness, causing headaches, nausea, dizziness, and difficult sleeping, none of which is very helpful if you're an athlete trying to compete at the highest level. The only solution to altitude is giving your body enough time to adjust. As your body acclimatizes, it ramps up production of red blood cells, which increases the carrying capacity of oxygen in your body. Typically, you would need three to five days, but it could take weeks to fully acclimatize, which is something most sports teams are unable to do when traveling to Denver due to the league's demanding schedules. That grueling schedule will come to a conclusion as the Nuggets compete for the NBA championship. And while altitude alone won't be enough to propel the Nuggets to their first championship, it may be one of the factors that pushes them across the finish line. But what do you think? Does your favorite team have a circumstance that they're able to harness to victory? Comment below and it may find its way in another video. If you liked this video, be sure to like and subscribe, get the bell on and tell a friend. Thanks for learning something with me, and we'll see you in the next video.